Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today I want to talk to you about how to not be a beginner. This happens quite a lot and I see it quite a lot. I know that people are just enjoying the game but there is more to the game than just the big jumps on the stoker. Genuinely there is more to it. And also uh, how to stop being a beginner is uh, what I'm basically just going to teach you today. And the first step is stop wearing code gear. Um, you look like the biggest beginner in the world and you've played the game for like two seconds uh, if you wear any of the code gear. You know, you can literally just play the game for about five minutes, maybe a bit more, and you'll get some items and you'll have some stuff to ride. Granted, it won't be, say, the sticker bomb bike or a Lux bike or anything like that. That takes a little bit more effort to get. But you will just not have to ride the cow bike uh, or the discord bike you could actually ride you know something new if you don't really want to do this and you do want to use a code bike uh, i recommend using custom and then go and making your own bikes because you can make bikes like these you can have several different bikes all to your custom specification because you're the one who made them so you like how they look because you made them and it's a very easy thing to do i made a video on it and so is Avani. i definitely recommend Watch in Avani's video because he gives you a great pack of all real life parts for bikes. Uh, I make my own stuff because I, I don't really care for um, IRL parts. I just make my own stuff because I like how it looks and I think it looks cool. But if you want like some Fox stuff or whatever the bikes are called, um, yeah, I don't know much about mountain biking. Um, then you can do that. Uh, same with custom helmets. You can have custom ones. These are just obviously the ones that you get from typing in the gear, uh, the code, which does give you a load of colored ones. If you just want like a colored set of helmets. Uh, same for t-shirts. I've made my own custom t-shirt. You can do the same for pants if you want to, or trousers, I would call them. Um, but I just use the denim ones because they're pretty cool and um, they look like jeans. So why wouldn't I? And you can genuinely just get quite a few good items if you just play the game for a little bit. So you won't have to wear full cow gear or anything else to do with the code gear. Especially there's people that don't really care for the YouTubers codes. But they use the YouTubers codes just so they have gear. Next thing up is stop just going to Stoker and riding the big jump line. Please stop just going on Whiplash. Play you some more of the game. There is a lot of work that has been put into this game for you just to go and ride Whiplash. Um, it's not really fair. I could definitely probably find a beginner, and there's one right there, wearing cow gear, and he was probably riding this line. Uh, most people that do ride this, uh, see, mod IO gear, and um, yeah, beginner. It always happens. There's a lot of beginners that genuinely just ride this line. He has mod IO gear, which is literally a thing you get from browsing the mod browser. Uh, it's very basic items and you can definitely get yourself something more worth it if you just spend a little bit more than two minutes. There is also two other lines to this park that you can choose. There's one called Stoker Downhill. It rides uh, very much like a downhill trail. There's one called Rock and Roller, which rides like just a regular trail, I suppose. And there's a jump line called Locomotive, which is very smooth and very fun to ride. It is my personal favourite. Sticking with the fact that there is more to the game. Uh, I know that probably most of you have tried bike out, but there's also this Cambria trail, which is based off a YouTube video that someone did. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure. I know it's from a YouTube video, but that's about the furthest extent of my knowledge. Uh, there's this STMP line. It's pretty fun and it feels really cool. Uh, and there's a big jump at the end for those that like big jumps. If you want big jumps, go to Verberg. There is a lot of big jumps. This is a real life uh, thing, I believe. As someone said that to me. I don't really know. I don't know much about mountain biking and what goes on in the real world. I literally just watch, watch Seth bike hacks, build his trail in his back garden, and that's about it. Uh, there's Die Fire Valley. That's got a load of jumps and it's got a load of trails. It's very fun to ride. There's also some mega ramps in there. This one, which is not out yet, which will come to console on the 10th of December, is New Lexico. There is a lot of content here. Please do ride this. They spent a lot of time making it, so you better give it some love. Uh, and there's other maps by King Krauts. Descenders Island, which will come soon by Syro. There's one by Ed. Uh, there's actually two by Ed, I'm pretty sure. Yep, and then there's the Koshmark Park, which is pretty fun. And the Mega Park, which is filled with massive jumps, massive ramps, massive loops, and so on by Doc Talk. It's pretty fun. There is more to the game, uh, especially how to get items. You must be in a career session. This has 
tons of content, all of the trails are randomly generated and they will be new every time you play them. Sometimes they are very similar but they are new and if you want you can get a sponsor for yourself so you have tasks to do. Um, I've done all my tasks, so I've done all of my items, they just give me daily sponsor tasks anyway which I can do and I, I, I've done most of them according to this. Um, it is very fun to do and you can also collect uh, some of the hidden maps which can be accessed by a seed and you can just do those anyway um, and collect them and you can have them and put custom stuff on as well. Uh, there is also mods for you PC people that are on Steam because that's how Steam works and you have a massive array of a load of bike parks. I personally like Mount Slope at the moment, it is very good and it's very fun. I also like this one, Nick's a dirt jump spot. Very simple, very small but very fun. This was just a small video on how to stop being a beginner. Um, it, 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 I, it's it obviously play it at your own pace, have fun, if you're not having fun then carry on having fun but a lot of people um, that want their luck spike and so on don't understand that you actually have to play the game to stop, to get more gear um, and it's kind of frustrating because they're like oh why didn't I get a luck spike I was riding whiplash and getting loads of rep for the longest time because uh, that's not how it works if you're in a bike park you will not be earning rep for, towards items it's just not how the game works at all you have to be in a career session and you have to actually risk your lives to be able to get more rep that's the only reason I have my 30 million rep is because I've tried to collect every item in the game there are some new ones that I haven't got but um it is the main focus of the game and it, I'm just trying to give you some more stuff to do so you're having a bit more fun than just riding Riplash. Uh, the new bikes will be out on December the 10th. You will need to be sponsored by a team to get those. Uh, I'll make another video explaining it all soon but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this explains how to not be such a beginner and um, yeah I hope you have more fun in the game and I hope you enjoy getting new items. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you later. Goodbye.